Good morning, everybody. It's just me, just me today. While the cat's away, the mice will play. Mouse, rather, mouse. Uh, she's gone out. Mazzy's gone out for the morning. Uh, she's gone to her dad's. Uh, I've got so much to catch up on, so much to tell you. And this is the only opportunity I've got to do it. I'm out of videos, so this is a good chance to get, some, get a video of bits and bats up for you. Um, right, we're back at Mazzy's sister's at the moment. We've sorted the van out, we've given it a good clean. Uh, we've sorted out the boot. Mazzy? Yeah. What are you doing? Sorting the mess out. It's a complete mess. It's better now though, isn't it? Well, I've done that bit. Well, we both have done it. I've been tidying the garage out this morning. Yeah, it Mazzy's really been getting is. in my way. Um, but while I'm here, I just wanted to give a massive thank you. We did it in person anyway, but you guys don't know about this. We were given a generator by Phil and Jill. Absolutely fantastic. Such a kind gesture. We met them in Fleetwood, well, near Blackpool, on the way back down here. And that's going to be a massive help. So thank you yeah, so, thank so you. much. And they were so lovely. Too. They were lovely. Yeah. They were lovely. <laughs> And, yeah, we're just trying to fit things in the back of the garage a little bit better. And get rid of some stuff in there. Yes. Sure. So, as you can see, I'm washing the tramper van today. It's really hard work. Um, to be honest with you, I ain't done any of it. It's... It's Mazzy's family, they're doing it all for me, so I'm just having a break. It's alright, isn't it? Honestly, if you want a free place to stop, come here. Free electric, free water, free wash of your camper van or motorhome. It's brilliant. Now, I fixed this last week and it's come back off again. But don't worry, it's Gorilla Tape underneath, so if I just put it up like that and push it, it'll stick again. Sorted. Honestly, Gorilla Tape, it's the future. Mazzy, have you seen this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gorilla super glue. All different kinds. Uh oh. <laughs> and they even do a clear repair tape, so if we've got anything needs doing on outside at van or anything in future, I can use something like that. And you won't even know it's there. Mm. It's the future, I'm telling you. No. And we're going back on our travels tomorrow. Um, mazzy has got to go to the doctors first thing in the morning and then we've got to travel to Stafford or Staffordshire because we're getting the van sorted out you know the water doesn't work we still haven't got water we haven't had it for maybe two weeks now no water the reversing light still doesn't work I don't think it's connected the radio isn't working so we've rung the dealer up it's still under warranty and it's booked in for Wednesday uh, first thing Wednesday, so we're going to get there Tuesday night, uh, local, and then uh, drop this off Wednesday morning, and fingers crossed it's all sorted. But that's put the old trip in a bit of turmoil, because we're not going to do Kent next, now. We've decided, whilst we're in Staffordshire, we'll do Staffordshire, just get Staffordshire out of the way, and then we'll do Kent uh, afterwards, which will be January. So Staffordshire's going to be December, then come back here Christmas probably for a few days and then down to Kent so bear with me I've been working I've been working hard I always do and so has Mazzy actually on this one this is a map of Staffordshire um, and Mazzy's put these little stickers on this is where all the Brit stops are in Staffordshire now I've still got to sort out all the places of interest where we're going to stop I've started making a list but it's, it takes at least four days and I just haven't had time to do it. So God knows what we're going to do when we get there because I've got nothing prepared at all. So I'm going through my list now on my phone. I've just got so many things to discuss. Firstly, I just want to give a big thank you to David Masden. Thank you so, so much. And everybody for all your emails about advice on how to get the water sorted out. Um, did appreciate it, couldn't reply to them all, there was just too many and I still didn't sort it out. 
I did manage to find out where the pump is, but it still didn't help me out, so... Uh, anyway, that's that. Now, what's what else is on my list? Short reflectors. Right, come with me. Come with me. So if you watched the previous videos, you will know that I reversed and crashed. For some people saying it was a scratch, it certainly wasn't a scratch. What happened? I just wanted to tell you the full story because I didn't explain it very well. We parked in a museum car park and I was reversing and Mazzy was out of the car uh, backing me up, telling me when to stop. And she did. She says, right, stop there. I got out of the car and I came back and I noticed it was one of them fences which goes straight up, barbed wire on top and then it comes back out again. And I noticed it was just touching here, was the fence. So, I didn't say anything to Mazzy, I just rushed into the front of the van to pull it forward a little bit, to check it out, check out the damage, if any, before I said anything to Mazzy. But unfortunately, it was still in reverse, and I actually reversed into it, making it even worse, and it went straight through there. So, some people have said they wanted to see the job now with the reflectors on. That is it. It's completely watertight now. We've put some, uh, some guy put some silicon to something in it. Completely watertight and reflectors on top. Now, the charge was the minimum charge, which was £10. I think it was £10 or 20 I think it was 10 And the reflectors, which were about £3.40 each. So, jobs are good and that's explained for you. Let's get on to the next thing. So, the next thing I want to discuss... I've been looking through the demographics on YouTube, okay? 84% uh, of our viewers are male, only 16 are female, but that's actually gone up from 10% female to 16, so more women have started watching. But what interests me is the age of everybody who's watching. Now, believe it or not, 72% of our viewers are older than me. Can you believe that? 72% are older than me. In my other channel, my Deep Digger Down channel, it was all kids who used to watch. Mainly kids. Um, I would say 72% were under 30, or certainly under 40. But age 45 upwards is 72%, most of them being between 45 and 54. So I was thinking, you know, I need to reach out to the older audience. Well... I need to look after the older audience, because that's what you all are. You're all really old. And I thought, what do really old people like when it comes to travelling? Sucky sweets. Sucky sweets. Every old person's got sucky sweets. You know, like boiled sweets. You don't eat them until you turn 45. So I thought I'll have to do some kind of review on a sucky sweet. I've got the perfect answer. Honestly, guys, and 16% women... You will never have to look anywhere else for a sweet. I've got the answer right here. Moffat toffee. Remember I went to Moffat and we went in the sweet shop and we got some fudge and stuff we were trying. We also got a tin of Moffat toffee. Now, neither of us thought we were going to like these because we're not into sucky sweets. Or I didn't think I was until I realised I am at the age where I should be starting to appreciate things like this. That's what they look like. They don't look like toffee, you see, and it's called Moffat Toffee. So I thought it were a bit misleading. But they're actually sucky sweets. Now, you put it in your mouth, it tastes like toffee, okay? Now, the important thing to do with these is not bite into them. Just give it time, give it time. It'll take you about eight, seven and a half to eight minutes to eat one. I'm not, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to edit some of this bit out. But after about a minute, you'll get like an air bubble appears in the middle of it. And then you get this burst. It's like, bang! It's like sherbet. You know, like, hang on a minute. A sour explosion. That's how they describe it. It's like a sour explosion in your mouth. So you've got like a very sweet toffee with, a, you know, refreshers. Have you ever had refresher um, sweets? Like the middle of them. A bit like them. But there's no powder in the middle. That's the beauty of it. It's just all sucky. It's too hard to explain. And I don't know where you're going to get them from. Apart from Moffat. But you have to get some of these. A tin of these 
in the front of there when your kids are in the back and stuff. Do you want a sweet? They'll all say no because they don't do sucky sweets. And you've got a full tin to yourself and they'll last you forever. They're fantastic. Moffitt sweets. I can't, Moffitt toffee. Moffitt taffy. Moffitt toffee. I can't recommend it enough. It's the future. Moffitt toffee and Gorilla Tape. As you can see on the back of the tin there, that's the uh, statue we were at with the ram on top. The haunted ram. And look at them. Just look at them. Honestly. They don't look anything special, but they are heavenly. They really are heavenly. I'd also like to thank people who have been sending pictures in. Um, we've had pictures of people who've received their merchandise from our shop. Traveltrolls.tv slash shop. Link in the description. Um, I've got a picture of someone's cup. I don't know everyone's name who sent them. I'm sorry, I've just downloaded the pictures and not the people who've sent... Um, who, uh, the names of the people who sent them. Um, but we've got someone that sent a picture of them with the mug. We've got Tim's gal wearing her t-shirt. Thank you, Tim's gal, a long-time follower. And a guy sent a picture of himself at Gretna Green uh, showing that our lock, our love lock, is still there. So thank you for that. I can't remember who it was again. I think it was on Facebook, but I downloaded it. I'll show you that now. I'd also like to thank the guy who sent us a picture of, uh, a, you know, another bit of art. Fan art, if you want to call it that. It's a picture of us in a camper van with us logo over the UK. Now, it's a very good effort. I do like it. Mazzy is quite pleased with how she looks on that. She's very pleased. But can I just ask why I look like the elephant man? Because I do look like the elephant man. I look like I've got a trunk. Uh, yeah, very funny. Very. Li I liked that a lot. Um, thank you very much for sending us it in. We love anything like that. Any kind of emails, we love them. To reply to a few emails, we've got one from Andy McNabb. Thank you very much, Andy. He has invited us. I haven't even mentioned... I don't even mention some of these to Mazzy. She's going to play L when she sees this video. Why didn't you tell me? Um, he said, on the 1st of December, can you get down to Dagenham to turn... Not Well, I don't think he means for us to turn on his charity fundraising Christmas display on, but he wanted us to go along. Uh, sorry, we're not in that area. We're not nowhere near Dagenham. We're going to be in Staffordshire on the 1st of uh, December. But I hope you have a lovely time and thank you for the invite. To Gong, who wanted us to review your steam clothes steamer. Um, sorry, we're not going to do that one simply because there's nothing personal in that. It just says, hello, friend. So I'm guessing you're just sending that to lots of YouTubers um, and not personally to us. So, sorry, and I don't even know what a clothes steamer is. Why would you want a cloth? Why would you want your clothes to steam? Alan and Michelle. God, you sent this email ages ago. I'm so sorry. 27th of October. It's about two and a half, three weeks ago. Sorry, I haven't had time to reply. Um, you're wanting help with setting up a YouTube channel and some advice on banners, where you get them done, you know, how you get viewers, stuff like that. I just can't answer that. I've had that so many times on my last channel. It's impossible to answer. Um, you just have to self-teach yourself how to make YouTube videos and it takes years of practice to get used to. Just putting yourself in front of a camera for a start is quite daunting. Doing graphics, I didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue. I couldn't use Photoshop. I can a bit now. Um, you just have to teach yourself and it takes time. Sorry, can't give you any advice on that one. We've received his first Christmas card. Oh yes, from our... This is Me and Mazzy don't watch the same YouTube channels. She's not interested in uh, van life, uh, camper van videos. She's more into paranormal things. So we don't watch videos together. But there is one channel which we do share an interest in, in camper vans, and that's Bob Earnshaw. We both love watching their channel. Um, it's Bob Earnshaw YouTube channel. That's the card. There they are. Bob and Jenny and the dog Poppy. Uh, I'm trying to show you this without showing their address because their address is on it. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love from Bob, Jenny and Poppy, but that is how you spell Bob Earnshaw. 
please get over to his channel and subscribe. Bob Earnshaw, that's his YouTube channel name. Uh, we find them fantastic. It's just two really, really old people. That, I don't know, about 100, 110 years old, and they've got a dog, and they give some good tips on living in a motor home. And they're really cool. I really enjoy watching them. I never miss a video. So, yeah. Um, them really old people get subscribed to the channel. And thank you so much for your card. Um, we'll get one straight out to you. Well, Mazzy will when she gets round to writing it. And everybody else who's ordered postcards, by the way. Um, I've got a list of about eight which need writing. But we're not going to write them until we're actually back on the road. So we'll be writing them from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and getting them sent out then. So that's why they're delayed a little bit. And I'm only joking. I'm really sorry. They're not 110 years old at all. Can't be over 90. I'll leave it at that for today, guys. It's just bringing you up to date, showing you a few little bits and things, getting them out of the way. Now I can move on to other things I need to sort out. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye. That'll do. It's a video, innit? Yeah.